right, pending further review, pending home sales are off the charts. They rose 3.2% in July, the sixth straight month of gains. In case you're counting, that's the longest streak on record. And according to the National Association of, uh, Association of Realtors, this key index of sales contracts on existing homes is now fully 12% higher than it was a year ago. So no more of this sequential nonsense. Now year over year, things are humming. So good for housing. Let's ask Uber Realtor Dolly Lenz, the vice chairman of Prudential Douglas. Hello, Dolly. Hi, Neil. For Thank real? you for having me. For real? Me. How are you? Yeah, it's for real across the country, for real. Pockets are not doing as well, and pockets are doing great, but it's for real. Where are the pockets really? That are not well. doing well? Doing well? Real, doing well. California is doing well, but they were so bad, so many foreclosures, that now they're coming out. So all the foreclosures are being absorbed, and that's making the market stronger and better. So things all like right, that. All right, you're big among the very wealthy, too. And, and this is the crowd that was always fearing the next shoe to drop in your neck of the woods, Manhattan and beyond. It's the commercial real estate market. And so they're kind of leery and kind of nervous. Are you? Commercial real estate? Definitely leery and nervous. You know, we're seeing leases being done now at one third the price they were done two years ago. One third. You know, if it so was. What does that say for what you do? Well, it, it doesn't really say much for what I do because it seems to be a completely independent market. It, it, it was so heated. And why is it catching the cold that the residential market? It. Because it doesn't make sense financially. See, when the businesses neither did the residential market. No, but this is worse. When the markets, when businesses go out of business or or go back on business and take less space, there's nobody to fill the buildings. The hedge funds aren't there taking another floor every hour. You know that's what it was at one point. But the fear is it's going to have a spillover in the residential arena. Do you buy that? No, I don't think so. I think we've had the spill. I think we've had the spill. We're not out of the woods. We've had the spill. It's easy going, but no, I don't, I don't believe so. All right. So for pricing. Mm -hmm. We're through the worst of it, the price drop we've seen, it's going to get worse or no? Oh, I think we could still see a price drop. It could still get a little worse, but I think How for the most part... How much is a little worse? 8%, 10%, but I don't think for the most part, other than Nevada or Arizona, where there's just way too much inventory, that it's going to be worse. I think those states are going to bring us down, but everything else is doing fairly, and Florida, of course. But Have you seen people downsizing to the point where, well, I don't want the fancy schmancy home. I don't want the huge, you know, gazillion foot mansion I, I, I you know that's not my cup of tea no but what I have seen is where they have four fancy schmancy homes they might now have three um, where they have five fancy schmancy homes they might now have two they that's may... your typical client base no they may have gotten rid of the helicopter you know it's tough out there oh well, no. no I got rid of mine because yeah. it was just too much <laughs> um, so let's go Riley yeah. now <laughs> you're saying then that it, your crowd does you know, consolidate. Mm -hmm. Oh, without a question. This is a smart group. They don't spend more than they have in general. All right. Well, if they get too cheap, then you should worry. Right? Oh, that, if they get too cheap, I will worry. But they haven't yet. No, they have not. Dolly Lenz, thank you very much. Thank uh, you. The, the top realtor Always in the country. Mm -hmm.